everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are talking about crochet hooks. Now, I don't use ergonomic hooks, so I just have these um, straight hooks to use. Um, this is some of my collection. I have more. <laughs> um, but mainly we are talking about the different um, materials they are made from. So we have metal uh, hooks, metal hooks, we have plastic hooks here and we have some wooden hooks on this side here as well. So the question is whether or not crochet hooks are allowed on a plane and yes indeed they are but the airline companies prefer plastic and wood over metal. So that means you are allowed a metal crochet hook but it would be preferable for you to bring a wooden or a plastic one so I ha this is all the plastic ones I have because I don't like plastic ones at all uh, these are just ones that I bought and I then realized they were plastic and I didn't like them so these are just even not in my uh, collection they are you know sort of in my uh, sewing basket so out of the way so um, Plastic ones are quite cheap. They are sort of from 119 to 349 um, and you can buy them anywhere basically. They're different brands um, but yeah I don't like them but you could say uh, if you know which project you are doing buy the one that you need for it and then you can take that on the plane even though um, it doesn't slide very well for a couple of hours I'm sure we can live with that. Then we have these ones here. Uh, now these are just uh, metal ones that I buy from um, websites, you know, anywhere or in shops. And generally they cost one pound each. And they come in all kinds of sizes. Um, they slide quite well. M you know, metal generally slides a lot better than um, plastic. Um, in the beginning, they are a little bit stiff, but they do get better with uh, use. So, yes, these are the ones that I like using uh, as spares, so to think, so to say. These ones here are my higher, higher hooks. Um, I've been buying these as and when I needed them for crochet projects. Uh, my three and a half and my four is are the ones that I use the most. These are the ones that I use for, like, you know, T-shirt yarn and bulky yarn. But I have to say, these um, I find glide exceptionally well. So even compared to the normal ones here, um, these glide even better than just normal uh, metal ones and, of course, plastic ones. Um, so, yes, these uh, are the ones that will come along with me on my holiday but do not go on board they will go in my hold obviously I'm not taking these if you don't need them while you are there then we have some wooden ones here this is the one I keep separate for my t-shirt yarn so that is for that anyway and then here I have two three and a half uh, millilitre, millimeter ones uh, this is a knit pro one which I have only just uh, sort of um, started using um, as you've noticed in a few of my videos lately I've been using this one and I quite like it and this one was my spare one last year to come with me on the plane because obviously what I did last year I had my metal one my three and a half and this one in my uh, sort of toiletry bag um, in my handbag and the wool uh, in my uh, sort of uh, uh, carry-on and um, I thought well if I have to hand these in for example for example if I'm not allowed the metal one then I just hand that one in it doesn't matter it's just a, a hook that you know that I can let go um, and then I can still use the wooden one while on board okay but obviously I was not going to risk my higher higher ones this year um, I am planning on maybe just taking this one here um, because obviously I have been using it it works and I might as well just take the one hook with me to not risk any other um, obviously 
what I do take uh, with me on board is just what I need. So I'll just be using this one here um, and all the rest, which I will, you know, sort of depending on the project that I'm taking, um, I will just need the crochet hooks for that and I will take that one and then a spare one for example and or another spare one and another spare one uh, in my suitcase in the hold so it doesn't um, get taken away from me. Now the hooks that's the hooks okay uh, the higher higher ones uh, I said the price of the plastic ones I said the price of these ones the higher higher ones are more expensive and um, they start at 249 or something and they go up to five six seven eight pounds um, so they are more expensive and I've like I said I've bought them as and when so I didn't get them in a pack but I just bought them as and when um, I needed the sizes and the Knit Pro here, uh, this one is also more expensive. It's, uh, I think I paid $3.99 for this one. Uh, they go up to $7.49 um, in price range, depending on the size, of course. They get uh, thicker. And they are made of densified laminated birch uh, wood. And... Um, I am liking it, you know, it's working quite well, as you might have noticed in some of the videos, I've been using it, so I might as well keep on uh, using it for, you know, for my daily uh, crocheting, um, and then take it on the plane with me. Now, the problem, we another problem we have, is cutting the wool, because of course, if you're not, um, you know, if you need to change color then you have to cut your wool when you're on an airplane you're not allowed scissors or anything like that uh, well you are allowed but there is a size restriction but um, these are my scissors as you've seen in some of my videos this is a scissors I've had for quite a long time so I'm not going to risk those this was given to me when I bought a few uh, wool packs so again as it was a little present I don't want to risk losing it and it does snip really well so I am not going to take this with me on board they are going in the hold in my suitcase okay so that is that but what I will take on board is this thing here I've had this um, for a, a while now. It was like a gadget that people give away at networking events. And it has a um, sort of a slot um, and a blade in there. And it cuts wool really, really well. I, um, yeah, I when I got it, that was the first thing I thought, wow, I can use that. It's a safe thing to cut the wool. Uh, but apparently it's a... Um, letter opener I think <laughs> so yeah so let me just show you so I've got this bit here which I've just put to the side because it's all all tangled <laughs> so we have a piece of wool here and look at this look and it's cut so yeah, that's uh, really handy and also it can go into my toiletries case because I don't take my crochet hook case with me. I just put my hook and this into my toiletry um, for, uh, you know, sort of efficient packing for going on board. And this is safe because I can't cut myself, I can't get my, my flesh in between it, so to speak. And um, yeah, it's quite a handy thing also when you're sitting by the pool or whatever, it's easy to just use this um, than to have to look for scissors. So that's quite a safe thing also when you have children around. Um, I have um, heard that some people use dental floss and the cutter in there to cut their wool. So let me just test that out for you. So I have my wool here. So always good to try these things out before you're actually bored. And let's see, look at that. It does cut it and it is quite handy as well. There was no, not much effort I had to do. So this works as well. So that's always a good backup. So yes, yeah, so another use for your dental floss. So that is another tip for you to take with you on your plane. So if you are going on holiday soon, uh, enjoy it. And don't forget to take your crochet. Don't forget to take your hooks. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.